Morning everybody, Nigel Hawks, Hawkeye Traders. Tuesday evening, the uh, 20th of September. Just wanted to show you the setup that's coming up in gold. We're really at make your mind up time on gold at the present time. You can see that the gold mining stocks here, the, the gold index, has had a wide bar up on the 240 minute. On the daily, it's been in congestion over here and it's starting to break up, which means that the gold mines are being bought and we are just expecting now to see or need confirmation rather of the uh, actual COMEX gold to start breaking up here we've got green volume in on the daily you can see over here here is the uh, daily pushing up uh, that's the weekly volume so it's still in congestion it's got a little bit to do but it looks like there's a potential setup coming in there just want to go over some of the open trades that we have. One of our customers asked about cotton. Um, I just want to show you the cotton setup. Uh, we're in weekly congestion uh, bias to the downside. However, we do have weekly uh, positive volume in there, which has pushed us up from that isolated low pivot into this congestion area. That's confirmed over on the daily, which has gone up. Uh, we've got an isolated high pivot here, which has pushed it down. It's come down to the stop area, which uh, we all know as Hawkeye traders is a very difficult area to get through. Um, need to see some effort to get through that um, or else it will just go into its congestion. Monthly you can just see it's going sideways. This was probably my best trade that I've done for many years last uh, last year. I managed to ride it up um, all the way through this, this major rise here and uh, did very well. I want to show you copper. Copper's come in with a new short during the week, came in here. Uh, lovely copper sell, which we would expect. Weakness in the overall market in the economy. Um, there it is, pushing itself down. We're in that one. Live cattle, we took that uh, last week. If you remember, I showed it to you in the room. It's come up here. It's gone into its congestion, uh, making good money on that, still holding it. Um, wheat is exactly the same. That's in serious whoops let me just come back whenever that happens it's a it's an internet uh, problem and there's so much broadband that I'm taking up there's the uh, downtrend on, on, on the wheat there you can see that it's in confirmation with the weekly and the monthly those really are the setups that we like soya meal um, that gave it to us as well you can see that and that pushed itself out so they were the setups that I've been looking at on the commodities and if I just go over to the FX swing charts uh, I spoke to a Hawkeye user today who couldn't believe that um, uh, uh, the euro was going up he was trading short term much shorter than the 180 minutes and uh, didn't trust himself because all the news was so negative but here you can see the green line going up what is terribly interesting here is that nearly all the currencies have converged and I haven't ever seen that before since uh, we, we uh, invented and introduced this indicator the only one really to look at would be the uh, euro Canadian so or, uh, the uh, pound uh, Canadian the pound going up and the yellow going down the Canadian so let's go and have a look at that pound uh, Canadian and see what setup that has put in for us but you know I've never seen that amount of convergence where they're all just sitting there I think there's so much despondency and uh, anxiety in the market that uh, nobody's getting their heads up on this yet and there you can see there was the uh, Canadian buy there was the scion dot that came in which was the confirmation of of uh, the fat man and if we just go in and have a look at the uh, tick chart for the uh, S&P what an amazing day it was today this is Tuesday um, you know it just straight up straight down very few very rarely do we get days like that the the roadkill indicator and the uh, gearbox over here really worked well really t telling us to use this time frame when it's in the yellow use this time frame against the slow time frame so you have your roadkill set to bar interval 4 and that's calling it off here in harmony with the slower market you don't want to trade through the lunch hour period all that chop just came in through lunch hour and then bang 
down it came here. So, you know, these setups are here all the time and you really need to learn how to, to use these. Um, for the people coming to the seminar at the weekend, uh, welcome and I look forward to seeing you all there. We've got a good turnout, um, so it, it should be very interesting. Thank you all very much. Look forward to seeing you in the room this coming Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. I'll be there. Bye.